Good morning, this is Burnrage, and welcome back to another episode of the Europa Universalis IV Russian Campaign, where we continue to attempt to expand east-west and south. We're pretty far all the way north, so we're still looking at some rebels. Let's do that. I think I have a... yep. I do have a small mercenary army over here. They should be able to handle that by the time the uh, rebellion occurs. What else do we have? Truces, disputed succession, no missions. None of these are interesting right now. I do not have any leaders. What I want to do really is attack Sweden or the Livonian Order or the Commonwealth. So I'm trying not to make Kazan mad because the Ottomans, I would love to have them as an ally. And Kazan is still my. Let me see. The power projection is terrible. Kazan is st st still my um, rival, I believe. Persia, Commonwealth, and Kazan, yeah. So, Ottomans, I would really like to. So, allied to Kazan is huge. Different religious group and neutral attitude. Diplomatic representations are poor. So what I can do, my rela I'm improving relations. May be able to do a marriage eventually and use them to help us fight the Commonwealth. That'll take a while though. So we could attack Sabir. Let's see who are they allied with. Kazan and the Ottomans, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> what about these guys? They're pretty big. Ming's not that big. The Commonwealth is a pain. They have a higher military tech level than their Eastern tech. Or Western. I'm Eastern. That's what it is. So the Ottomans and Anatolian. Ottomans could be friends, eventually. It'll take a long time. These guys I still want to annex, but I don't think I can yet because of my Diplo relations. Perhaps diplomatic reputation, annex subjects minus three still. Overextension, a little bit. So, and I think I want to complete this army too, so let's do that. Let's see where my land force... No, I'm at my land force limit. I guess that's why they're not complete. So let's put this down to three, and we'll start. We've discovered that Brandenburg has cancelled military access. That's fine. So I want to attack them. Let's see what I can do. They have a lot of friends. I tried... Oh, France, Pomeranian, Riga, and Sweden. Nope. Sweden. Nope. The Commonwealth. Wow. Nope. What is Pomerania doing down here? Nope. Ooh. That's nice. So, Theodore and Britain would ignore me, obviously, and Casey would probably come as a vassal. Or it will come as a vassal. So, do not have a cast spell on them because I do not. I support rebels. I cannot fabricate a claim on them, and I don't have a border. So if I just declared war, that would be a minus two stability. Plus two war exhaustion. What a pain. I need to get in there. So let's just fabricate claims. What do they got? Let's fabricate a claim on Narwa. Pretty good risk of discovery. Do something with our diplomats. I don't know, can't take that stability hit right now. So our legitimacy is going up, our power projection is terrible. How's the Golden Horde doing? I think I'm still truced with them. Or not. 
Let's see, all my diplomats are used up right now. I don't have any military leaders, too. I had one fort on Lothbald. You can convert provinces! Ah, we finished coring. What else are we doing? Culture... Missionaries, cores, two almost done. Bergen's Hus. Ten percent. That's pretty good. Nine months. Let's do that. Where did that? Uh, oh, there they are. My mercenary army that got retreated. I'll send them back over there. I really should get some leaders, but I'm doing two military ideas right now. So it's a pain. And I don't, and I want to spend them all on those points. And I need military tech. I really should finish one of these. Land attrition. That attrition is going to help so much. So, we'll continue on. We have improved relations with the Ottomans, so let us call that diplomat and what was I gonna do perhaps declare war on the golden horde there are cursed infidels show superiority war goals show superiority the allied with the Ottomans which I don't want to upset they are subjects of Kassan so will I ever become friendly enough with the Ottomans will I Persia and the Ottomans, or should I just go for crushing all of this? Ottomans would come up, right up through here to me. Let's see what kind of military they have. Army! Well then. Yes. So I'm kind of boxed in a little bit here. If I declare war on them, Kazan and the Ottomans, everyone is an ally with the, uh... With the Ottomans. I suppose I didn't make a lot of friends expanding as I did. Stupid Commonwealth. Can I attack Denmark? Who are they? They're a bunch of Great Britain. Ugh. How's Norway doing over here? Still have a truce. I don't really feel like building a bunch of transports to go out there, though. And then if I got in some kind of war, I'd probably have to defend it, deal with that. What's my naval force limit? I'm all built up there. These guys are in port. Let us bring you out. Where is my fleet? Oh, all of my fleet together. The strength of faith. Gain prestige. prestige. Our support for religion and devotion. We show impresses the people around us. It is a fact. So let's merge all these. And we will send you to protect trade. How's my income doing? Treasury. Not that great. We've discovered an agent. We finished coring them. Take nine months there also. That's nice. How's this uprising doing? Still at 5%. Not bad. So what's taking all my money? Army maintenance. Now... I guess now that I'm not really worried about this unrest so much... The overextension, separatism, tolerance, non-accepted culture. We're making them a core. Already converted them. So I think I will turn army maintenance down and if I see that getting up near like 90 or something. So, here we go. Very nice difference. The mercenaries are held back up there. A 
Lots of money. What can I build? Not a time of peace, not by choice. But, uh... Let's take advantage of it if we can. Buildings. Barracks. Anything really good? No. Temples. I could build some temples. A little bit more money coming in. Marketplace. Trade power. It's always nice. have a lot of those built. No, I don't have a lot of those built. I have like one. These are all filled. No more buildings for you. I don't have so much power. I could spend some Diplo power on development, but I just I don't have the, enough right now that I really want to deal with that development. Hello and or something. Oh, this is a lot of development. Oh no, spend a hundred. It's one one one. Hehe. <laughs> I was like, they have so much. They organize it by how much it would cost. So where do I have the most development? Down there. Moskva, of course. Well. Interesting, Austria. Whatever. So again, 4.5 years. Did they cord yet? Almost. 1 January. So I have a diplomat doing nothing. Let me see. Could fabricate another claim. What's a good province that I can take here? Fabricated claim. Because I have that mission for Smolensk. So... Let me see. I'll just do small ones because I'm probably going to ignore that mission. Oh, well, no, I don't even want to work on these guys. I'll do Viborg. Where are you? Okay. Continuing on. Great Britain is still hanging out in Sweden. Are they fighting? Interesting. So who are you guys at war with? Sweden, Brandenburg, Oldenburg, Pomerania, Friesland, and the Livonian Order. They did not call me in on it. Allied with Denmark, Portugal, Spain, and Russia. So they are at war with Denmark, Great Britain, British Columbia, and the British West Indies. Currently they're doing well, but there's this British army in here. So if I can declare war on... Well, let me finish this claim I'm fabricating. I can cancel this one, I don't really care. If I get a chance to go to war. Gain more patriarch authority. Or gain, no, full stability, gain Patriarch Authority, because I love it. So I'll finish this claim on the Livonian Order, and then see if I can maybe attack Sweden or something, and not have their allies join. We have gained the Casas Belli against the Livonian Order, because that wonderful claim. Alright, let's see what we can do. Pomerania will not join. France is, I don't think France is involved in this mess. Pomerania is just not doing good. What is France? They are not allied with Austria, Lorraine, and Holland. Enemy allies. Huh. 
So we can let this war go on a little bit longer. Maybe Great Britain will give us a call to arms or something. We've now considered part of our patrimony. Let's say 50%, 5.7 years. Should still be going down. Austria is the new emperor. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So separatism. Conversion. We've converted more people. Let's see. Unrest 6.1. I'm definitely going to have to eventually do some culture conversions somewhere. But right now things are pretty good. Just that separatism. The colony of Ekaternburg has become self-sustaining. Excellent. What are you guys doing? So what can I build here? Anything. Nothing. Very low development. It's not one of our cores, so we need to core. To it in power, seven months. Okay. I guess that's acceptable. We'll send our colonist there. We'll keep our little army over here. Close by in case there's an uprising we need to destroy. So how are you guys doing over here, Sweden? Oh wow, did you kick Great Britain out of your lands? Very good. Ottomans are always up for a war. Man, Kassan's pretty good actually. So, I got a lot of vassals around here. Troublesome. I should have been more aggressive to the east, but I was too focused on the west, which didn't give me what I wanted. Now I'm kind of stuck. A little stuckish. So let's keep going. Moving forward. Wait for the landscape to change. Wait for an opportunity to come in. We'll go 5 speed. Continue fabricating claims, other fun stuff like that. Watch for a rebel uprising. 7.3 years. It's going down, down, down. 7.4. That'll probably go away before anything happens. So, we got that claim. So what else can we do with these guys? They are very unhappy because we have... Let me see if I can change my rival. No. Me. The France, Spain, or Sweden. Oh, I can do Sweden. I like that. It'll cost me 100 Diplo power to remove Kazan as my rival. The Commonwealth and Persia. That may... I mean, I think that's my only opportunity I see right now is to work on this need to, to bring down the Commonwealth some. So let's try. Do that. Costly trade embargoes, yes, because they are not... Revoke embargo. Okay. My power projection is terrible. I can now embargo Sweden. What do we got? Military access. Ah, accept. What are you guys doing? You were at war with Shravan, Ksan, the Golden Horde, Nogai, and Sibir. And as my ally... You did not call me into this war. Interesting. 
Why not? Why did you not want me to? Man, this whole economic base thing is a pain. Let's improve relations. Ottomans, again. So let's see how we do it. Not vassalization, alliance. So we don't have the super negative thing because of our uh, rivalry with Kazan, and we may be able to royal marriage them. Our diplomatic reputation improves. Better relations over time, guy. Nice. I didn't even know he was missing. How about this guy? Yearly prestige. How's my prestige doing? Well, I could slow its drain. National tax modifier plus two. Nine monthly. I could afford that. And admin power never hurts. What about him? Three plus three. Twenty a month. I could not afford that. Morale of armies. That would be really nice to get some ideas going, but that would just completely destroy my income. Wish there was a plus two I could get. So why are you fighting all these guys and you didn't invite me? I'm kind of annoyed. The call to arms! As you come to your aid, in the Commonwealth Conquest of Yiddishkul against Commonwealth and Moldavia, this is a defensive war, we need to help our ally. Commonwealth is allied with Brandenburg and Tuscany. Okay. Well, let me, before I forget, I'm going to turn my army maintenance all the way up. I'm going to need a couple ticks for that. So... I may have to just leave that alone for now. The Commonwealth Conquest... So record that. So you're at war with Commonwealth and Moldavia and a bunch of other people. You guys are not having a good time. So you're at war with Theodoro. So it'll be me against the Commonwealth and Moldavia. And they could call on their allies, Brandenburg and Tuscany, I believe. I don't think that'll come in right away. I hope. So let me see. Ledger. Theodora is not going to be any help, especially with this other war they're doing. I guess someone took advantage of that. So, Moldavia. How big are you? Pretty tiny. Okay, I can just ignore you, basically. Commonwealth. We have similar manpower. No, I have more manpower. A good bit more. All those barracks are paying off. And they have less armies. They are up military tech, though. And what about me? I could do military tech 13 in a while. Or I could continue my ideas. What idea could I get during this war? Regimental system, land maintenance modifier, lower. Not really helpful for the war. So we could raise war taxes. I have enough money right now, I don't think we're going to do anything. So... Oh, I wish Theodora... So, and then I'll have my ally down here, or my vassal down here, Circassia. I wonder if I could call Great Britain in. They're still at war, they probably wouldn't do that. I'm going to bring my ships back to port. Well, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to think on this. I'm probably going to do it, and we'll see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.